I've been involved with SAIT programs since 2008. I taught for five years um, as a daytime instructor. There's been some studies that have been done that show that girls make a determination about what they want to do in industry when they're in junior high and boys make that determination usually in grade 12 or after graduation and so in order to get girls at an earlier age I decided to do a SAIT camp targeted for girls um, to show them what instrumentation is all about. I found a robot and how we can do different sensors and stuff and felt this was a good way to introduce this to girls at an earlier time and show them more about it and get them more excited about about this industry. They're also going to learn about building this robot and how to program it so that it can use the touch sensors and light sensors. So this sensor here helps him determine whether his mouth is open or closed. So you can see that it blocks it there. And this one here is an infrared sensor which helps him determine when he's full. I'm going to feed him. And once he's full, he determines when he's full. I never know when he's going to determine he's full. <laughs> So right here there's a little level sensor that determines whether the robot's standing up straight or not. So when I activate him, he adjusts himself to determine whether he's standing up straight or not. And so now he's standing up straight. So these are some of the sensors that are involved in running the, pro uh, running the robot that students will learn how to program. After they're done the week of camp in the, on the Friday afternoon, there's a little show and tell where all the parents of the students can come and see what they spent the week doing at the camp. And the fun part about this is that the kids will actually get to take their robots home that they built with them. <laughs>